Developing tonight, the Douglas County Schools Director of Transportation is now on administrative leave over questionable spending. The move comes after Call 7 investigator John Ferruja uncovered irregularities with the district's checkbook. And tonight, John is raising more questions about... Our investigation has found that a company called Quality Print has been paid a bundle, even though the District Transportation Director Paul Ballon admits much of the work could have been done at the district's own print shop. Do you know how much you've given that company in the past three years? $23,000. That's right, for envelopes, flyers, announcements, and simple administrative paperwork for his department. At the time, it seemed justified. Is it? I would say no. But there is more than just questionable spending here, because our investigation found that according to the Secretary of State's office, the registered agent for the quality print company is Bernadette Welly. And who's Bernadette Welly? She's an employee that works in the payroll department. She was your secretary too, wasn't she? She was. We also found Bernadette Welly's name and that of her husband, Mark Welly, who is not even a district employee, listed on the school district's Sam's Club membership paid for by taxpayers. Theirs are among 19 persons, including Paul Ballon's wife, who our investigation found have been using the tax-exempt card for years to access Sam's Club to make personal purchases. Should people be disturbed about this? They should be. Their money paid for people to have these cards to make these purchases, right? Yes. And in the case of hiring quality print, Ballon admits it violates district policy. And you knew her family owned that business. Yes. And you knew that she had an interest in it because she lives with Mark Welly, right? Yes. Clear conflict of interest, is it not? In that context, clear conflict of interest. The information that's uh, come to light in this instance is not okay. Bill Moffitt is the chief of operations for Douglas County Schools. Moffitt says quality print will no longer be a vendor for the district because it violates the district's policy on conflict of interest. The general public uh, should demand accountability and uh, transparency and good business practices. And were they getting them in this case? Uh, the information that we have is that uh, they were not and we're going to fix it. It's important to note that much of the questionable spending we have uncovered does not appear on the school district transparency website. Coincidence? Well, we don't know. But we're continuing to ask for records, and the district is scrambling. We'll let you know what else we find. I'm John Ferruja, 7 News.